Suntory Holdings, maker of Jim Beam and Maker's Mark, Hibiki, Yamazaki, Lafroig, announcing today that uh, by 2022, it's targeting 100% renewable electricity in its R&D facilities and owned factories, such as this water plant in Nagano, Japan, up from 30%, which it has currently. Joining us now to talk about that news and the outlook for spirit sales is CEO Tak Minami. Great to have you back on the show, Tak. How, how big of a lift is this getting to 100%? What does it involve? Well, it needs a lot of technology and the investment uh, toward the 2022 as well as the toward the 2030. And then we have the uh, uh, bold mission to uh, completely uh, reduce the uh, carbon em emissions by 2050. So this is uh, the uh, kind of middle point uh, to achieve the final goal to, to become the uh, carbon neutral neutrality by 2050. But uh, we have to buy the... Uh, um, uh, green electricity products from energy uh, supplier. We have to on, have the on-site generation. A lot of investment, as much as uh, uh, ten billion dollars uh, uh, by 2030. So a huge move for us. So, where does this put you relative to some of your competitors on on ESG fronts? And do you think you get credit from investors? and consumers and employees for these efforts? Yes, that's right. Uh, we have to talk to uh, multi-stakeholders, uh, especially we think that the consumers, society, and uh, our employees to be more aware of the uh, this importance and our bolder decision. So that's quite important. Tak, what is your outlook uh, for alcohol sales uh, as more economies reopen? And do you think people will drink different types of drink relative to the past year, where clearly uh, spirit sales have done somewhat surprisingly well as people have drunk more of it at home? Yeah, well, the trend toward the uh, trading up to the uh, premium products hasn't uh, changed. That means intact from the you know, home consumption during the uh, pandemic time. Now, more and more, you know, um, uh, premium products, but uh, the overall, the tendency uh, tilted to um, premium products uh, hasn't changed. And uh, huge, you know, businesses with the uh, restaurants and bars now, and I'm sure the vaccine has been game changer. Tak, I, I also, while we have you, wanted to ask you about the upcoming Olympics because I know you are an economic advisor to the prime minister and, and it's all eyes on Japan with the, with the slower rollout of the vaccine. What's this going to be like? Yeah, with only three weeks left and the more athletes arriving in Japan, there's no doubt that uh, the games will be held as a scheduled. Um, but in Tokyo, we are under the... Uh, quasi uh, lockdown situation because a new case has been uh, increasing. Having said that, I, I think the government and the organizers are uh, putting uh, the uh, PCR testing at the airport very strictly and uh, creating a, a safety bubble for athletes and uh, staff members. And third, strict rules are given to the athletes and the staff not to get out from uh, the bubble. So. Uh, I think that the, uh, everything will be ready, but uh, I'm so concerned about uh, the current spreading uh, the uh, uh, Delta in Tokyo. So the, the, the organizers and the government might or may have to declare no spectators. Right, still, still waiting on that. Well, talk, thank you very much for the update uh, and for the chance to highlight some of the, the efforts that you're making. Tak Ninami, CEO of Suntory. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.